What's up, Towson? This is Brendan reporting here from the Center for the Arts, where we're covering three different art exhibits this evening. I'm Professor Christopher Bartlett, and I'm the director of the art galleries at Towson University. This is a special show in the sense that uh, it brings together a lot of artists who are interested in, in nature as subject matter and as a conceptual thought uh, in creating artworks. It's, it examines artists' responses to nature. Many artists today look at nature through the eyes of climate change, toxic pollution, or overdevelopment. Still others engage art historically, operating out, operating out of a landscape painting tradition. Um, this this t brings together installation, video, photography, painting, and sculpture to examine the myriad ways that artists interact with nature. I'm here with Alexandra Katargina. Alexandra, could you tell us a little bit about your artwork? Well, the show's called Figure is Language, and basically I'm a figurative painter. I believe that when we as humans look at visual work that's representational, it's easier to understand. So basically, I use the most common language that is possible, which is the human figure. Um, I basically do oil paintings mostly and drawing as well. You can see some of the line work that's very intricate in the drawing part. And then when it comes to oil painting, I'm also using line but in more abstract terms. Mostly I work large scale because you know you can fit as much information as possible into large scale work and also the size because it's almost life size and makes the viewer connect to the painting itself. Cool and Alexandra you were a senior here at Towson correct? A uh, graduate student. A graduate student? Awesome. Yeah, I'm graduating spring 2013. Very good. Is there anywhere that some of our fans can see your artwork? Yes I have a website that is my full name alexandrakatargina.com and you can see all of my work, new work, old work. I'm here with Jordan Bernier, a graduate student here at the MFA exhibit. Uh, Jordan, could you tell us a little bit about your artwork? Sure, so uh, I do a lot of work with digital media, um, and then some print media as well, and some drawing occasionally, but this show mainly, mainly focus, focuses on uh, digital work. Um, I noticed that a lot of your artwork was very unique. Could you like tell me some about like the creative process that goes behind it? Sure. So uh, a number of the works deal with appropriation. So taking existing works of art or existing videos and appropriating them and maybe changing the message behind them. Um, and then some of the pieces are also interactive works that deal with uh, camera feedback and, and things like that. How long have you been studying this form of art? Uh, digital work probably be about two years, I'd say. Yeah, I came into the three-year program as a printmaker, so screen printing mostly, working with paper. Um, and then the past year and a half, two years, been working a lot more with like animation and digital work. Is there a certain piece of art that you're showcasing here tonight that you haven't showcased in the past? Uh, I don't think I've shown any of these in galleries before. They're they're all new pieces. Um, and most of them aren't on my website or anything, so yeah, they're all new. Where, where can we find some of your artwork, your website? Sure, so uh, jordanbernier.com is my website. Uh, I also have work at the Enoch Pratt Central Library in downtown Baltimore. Um, and I also have work at Anne Arundel Community College this month in the Pop Effects show. I'm here with Kelly Brady, uh, artist behind Syncretic Culture. Kelly, could you tell us a little bit about your art? Syncretic Culture is a series of collages made from individual photographs. Um, they're essentially discussing the social landscape that uh, is created in the kitchen. Now Kelly, could you tell me how you made the artwork? Ah uh, yes, um, the artwork are all digital photographs. Um, they are collaged together in Photoshop, uh, which is a digital program for editing photographs. The whole series of works has um, taken about a year or two to go through. Um, essentially, it's kind of like a uh, short mini ethnography, if you will, it, which is basically um, a narrative discussing uh, culture or cultural phenomenon. Um, the N in NOLA, which is uh, one of the large pieces, the second one um, that is in there, features uh, an individual who I know personally, and she originally, um, her family, part of her family is from Puerto Rico, 
and part of her family is from Ohio, a lot of the dishes that she makes kind of um, mesh together uh, the two different cultures. Um, and on both of the pieces, um, both Duck Duck Dog, which is the original one, and the end Nola, the second one, um, I'm looking at the details in the photos, trying to basically um, talk about the kind of uh, stereotypes and assumptions you can make about people and their personal historical narratives um, coming from the food that they eat, the materials that they buy, the construction of their kitchen. And Kelly, where can we find some of your artwork online? Uh, I have a website that you could uh, check out some of my photographs. Um, I also do web design and some video works as well. Uh, my website is www this or it's um, thiskb.com. Cool, thanks, Kelly.